As more and more parents are moving to the Treasure Valley, school district officials are forced to make tough decisions. Overcrowding and class sizes above school district standards is leading to capping enrollment at two elementary schools. Don Nelson focuses on the most recent decision and how they're dealing with the growth in tonight's State of 208. Hillsdale Elementary on the south side of the interstate is a very popular spot for parents to send their children because you have this brand new school, you have a YMCA, you have a library, you have a St. Luke's clinic. Eric Exline with the district has been dealing with this kind of growth for over a decade now and he's accustomed to the chess game that's played with boundary lines and students coming and going from school to school. Hillsdale's principal sympathizes with the newly arrived families. We feel their pain of not being able to attend your school that's within your neighborhood. We just have grown so much on here on the south side. The district sets standards for class sizes. For first grade, they have set it to 25. That would be right here, 25 bins. But as you can see, in this classroom at Hillsdale, we have one, two, three, four, five more, 30 bins now in this first grade class. Now you may not think five more kids in a first grade class would make a big difference, but Bear says it does. Here's why. First graders are not at full independence yet, so teachers have to assist with many things. Putting in coats when it's cold, um, helping kids to tie their shoe, helping kids to get their information in and out of their backpacks. The two other elementary schools that will take up the load are Siena and Silver Sage, two schools that Bear believes is on par with every elementary school in the district. All of our West Ada schools are great schools where you can have um, great staff and your students will have, um, you know, instructors that will ensure your students have growth and high levels of achievement. And don't think this all ends with Hillsdale and Hunter Elementary Schools. Eric Exline says the district is already planning for even more growth. We're going to run a bond in March to include an elementary school south of the freeway. We're going to do it the West State away and fast that track that thing to get it open by the fall of 21. We'll stay on top of this important growth issue. Don Nelson, six on your side.